you go. Aaron here from Arming the Nation Firearms Training. Today I'm doing a video on chronographing ammunition. When you go into the shop to buy especially 22 ammunition, most 22 ammunition will have a speed written on the box of how fast they're going. Like the subsonic here, this Winchester subsonic, I could not find a speed written on the box here, so I don't know how fast it's going, but it is advertised as a subsonic round. Then you have CCI standard velocity. They've got it down as 1,070 feet per second. We'll also be testing Winchester T22. They've got them down as, as 1,085 feet per second. The Winchester Thunderbolt, there is nothing written on the speed there that I can see on that box. And the other one I'll be testing is the Federal Value Pack, which they've got here at 1260 feet per second. I'm going to be using the chronograph, writing the speeds down and then showing you an average to see how much difference there really can be in consistency of bullets to what is written on the packets. Okay, I'll now test the Winchester Subsonic. I'll load me one round into the chamber. Got the five in the magazine, I'll do the six shots. Clear, clear, it's clear. Okay, so I'll Next part of the video, I'll, like I said, show you the average and work out what the speed of the bullet should be. Okay, I'll now do the um, test fire with the Remington Thunderbolt, which was averaging about 1,224 feet per second from the calculations with the chronograph through the 26-inch barrel Bruno rifle. Now we'll see the difference in speed, how we drop velocity because of the shorter barrel. As I've said in most of my firearm safety courses, the shorter the barrel, you lose more velocity as it has less time to build up explosion pushing the round out. So we'll see the drop in speed from firing through the handgun. Clear, clear. Okay, now I've fired all the rounds that I wanted to fire, so I can now check to see my average. The chronograph will tell me the speed of each round and work out the um, average. So, my first shot is 1076. For the next shot, 1048. 1,023, 1,035, 1,041. Now it's got a function here, it'll tell me that the highest speed I recorded was 1,076. And then I can push it again here, and it'll say 1,003 was the lowest um, bullet speed that passed through the sensors. Now it works out the average. The average speed out of the six shots fired out of that pistol was 1037, which is quite a big difference to coming out of the 26 inch barrel of the Bruno 22, which was 1224 feet per second. So that's quite a drop, nearly 200 feet per second drop just from a handgun to the rifle. So in the course when I was talking about barrel length, now you get more velocity out of the longer barrel. Now you can see the chronograph doesn't lie. Thank you. Okay, I'm uh, gonna test fire some 12 gauge shells through it too. As you can see, like 12 gauge shells here, this is a Australian desert rat shell. It says here that it's doing 1250 feet per second. Now when they're tested, they're tested at two meters from the barrel of the muzzle to the chronograph, exactly right, but this set out at is two metres, so I'm going to test it the same 
is the test that they've done here. And I just wanted to see how close they are to the consistent level with the speed that's written on the cartridge. Right -o. Twelve fifty, twelve forty nine, very close. Twelve fifty one. Twelve fifty three. So yeah, the first two shots were a little bit slower. Could have been a little bit less powder when they were loaded. Could have been a number of things. But on average, the last four shots were two to three feet per second right in on that 1250 line. So to me, that's a very consistent cartridge. All right, I'll work out the average on the machine. Okay, from today's tests, we can see that the T22, 1096 very close to what they're specifying that it should be. It was advertised on the box at 1,085 feet per second. The federal bulk, spot on pretty much. Averaging at 1,259 feet per second, which they said that it was 1,260. But the CCI standard came in at 1,033 on an average when it was supposed to be 1,070. So like I said, sometimes on the box the speeds aren't what they're supposed to be, but the others were very close. The Remington T-Bolt had no speed advertised, so I can't really use that as a comparison. But to show you the difference between the shorter barrel pistol compared to the long barrel on the rifle, 1037 was the average for out of the pistol, or 1224 was the average from a rifle. So nearly 200 feet per second drop from the barrel length. The Winchester Subsonic came in at 1,045. There wasn't an advertised speed on the box, so I can't use that as a comparison. But the Desert Rats, which I fired out of the shotgun, it was fired out of a standard 30-inch barrel at the 2 meter, two meters from the chronograph, which is the same as the testing that's advertised on the box. And they came in very close at 12.43 was the average when the shell was advertised at 12.50. I hope you enjoyed it today. I look forward to seeing you all on the range or at one of my firearms courses in the future. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Australia. And God bless firearm ownership. Thank you.